Hello my soccer universe. I'm fully aware of the irony that I call this video beyond the Classico and then I'm wearing a Real Madrid shirt, but with good reason we'll get to that. But before that, I'm trying also a little bit of a higher position in my videos because I always feel I'm falling a little bit down. So let's see how uh, this will go. Why am I wearing Real Madrid? Well, uh, not only did they win El Clasico, and that's more or less the last time we'll hear about that one in this video, but also Karim Benzema won the Ballon d'Or. So I think it's uh, apt to um, give a little bit of love in that sense to Real Madrid. Also, this enables me to put 13 jerseys on the background and not just 12. If I take one of the teams that I have more than one jersey, which there are not that many in Spain, it's Real Madrid, it is Atleti, I have two, I have Barcelona and I have Valencia and yeah, Sevilla mean well as well so uh the it's relatively easy of those teams Real Madrid clearly had the best uh, week overall going away from Real Madrid and Barcelona for a while I think for me uh there are two things uh in this um video that I want to point out that there have been actually quite some really interesting matches uh that could be interesting for the league going forward uh also some big name games however you know, not featuring the two biggest names but really interesting stuff there uh and from an individual player's perspective Edinson Cavani has scored now three goals in two games for Valencia. And that uh, is something really, really nice to see. And yeah, we had, uh, speak, speaking of Val Valencia, they only managed two draws um, in, the, in the last two rounds. However, that draw in uh, Seville was action-packed and especially dramatic in stoppage time. And we're all going to talk about that. We had also Atletico Madrid putting in a vintage Atletico performance to win in Bilbao. We had the big apology from Griezmann, of course, in there as well. And we had a typical, going back to one of the big guys, typical performance of Villarreal in Barcelona. Nominally, this should be an even game. However, when those two play against each other, there's always one winner, especially the camp now. I don't remember seeing Villarreal going there and actually winning a uh, lad along or uh, uh, get a draw or whatever. They usually get a pounding, which is so weird. But let's go into the uh, previous uh, round, which happened on the weekend. And let's look at the results here. Um, again, the first one I want to point out. I mean, there were a whole bunch, bunch of draws, but the 2 2 between uh, Valencia and Elche, which is kind of a local derby. Uh, is not notable because Edinson Cavani scored first two two goals. He equals the score in the four, four, 41st uh, through a penalty, and then he got a go at goal just deep into stoppage time. 45 plus 7. Uh, it's not the first time that we had that, but also uh, Mia scored 2 for Elche. Elche then made with not having such a, a fortunate result, uh, Garda Bessé. What can I tell you about Athletic Club against Atletico Madrid? Uh, I think relatively even game with an early disallowed goal for Atletico Madrid. But, you know, uh, Bilbao is definitely a team that uh, potentially could go into the Champions League spots uh, this season. They had a really good run, um, having a relatively strong squad and looking quite cohesive. However, they get called out on a quick counter in the 47th minute that Griezmann expertly puts home. Um, and, you know, Griezmann now fully at Atletico Madrid and he was ha happy about it after the match as well. Kind of saying, yeah, I have to apologize for all the Atletico fan uh, fans that how I behave, blah, 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 blah. Okay, show your actions on, on, on the pitch. But uh, Griezmann, really, really good. What was not good? This Atletico Madrid jersey uh, should be banned. I think they could have issued something much, much better. I don't even think it made that good, you know, peach colored with the weird Nike. The, I think uh, even uh, using um, uh, a darker George address would have made for a better contrast, I feel. But hey, uh, that's what La Liga decided. And then it was all defending, and especially I want to point out Ranildo for Atletico Madrid, who uh, really dug in. Also, Oblak had to come off with an injury. Grubic came out, he even got, got the save. So, I mean, it was Cholismo uh, in its pure rest form. Atletico get a famous win. I mean, uh, there were some penalty shouts laid on, but uh, nothing really that serious. And yeah. Um, did Atletico deserve that win? Probably not, but you know, if you defend that, that well, probably you do. So, you know, it's one of those, they're not fun to watch. They are just not fun to watch. 
Um, another team that has to be really mentioned is Real Sol Sociedad that keep up there, keep uh, getting re results despite having a lengthy in injury list. Shows the good work that is um, put in by coach Alguacil. Um, they go to Celta, who are kind of... It's not an, it, the easiest game game to go to and win 2-1. Uh, Ilara Mendy and Zubeldia get again goals. Iago Aspas, of course, who else? Uh, scoring an equalizer in between. Uh, the big game, there's an entire video about it, so uh, that... Um, Let's not talk, talk talk about it anymore. With Espanyol getting a win at Real Valladolid, Betis also getting a win at Villarreal against Osasuna. Uh, over Osasuna. Then, during the midweek, a uh, wild game uh, at uh, uh, sanchez Pizjuan with Sevilla uh, managing a 1-1 draw against Valencia. Again, um, first of all, can I lot? I mean, uh, Valencia playing in the beautiful flag jerseys, uh, the next, the Puma ed ed edition. It's always fun to see Valencia play in these, and it's also fun to see Edinson Cavani scoring. Um, now that he is not playing, uh, you know, I'm so used to seeing him in blue jerseys because he was for Napoli for PSG. Uh, it gets a little bit more normal now to see him in other other guys after he's been at United and now at Valencia. Um, and it seemed like that, especially in the second half, Valencia could hang on, of, although they really, really uh, were, you know, challenged, really, really were, were working hard because uh, Sevilla came on knocking. There were a few close calls, and in the end, Lamela gets an equalizer. But then in stoppage time, both teams actually went for the juggler in a way, uh, all out, and uh, while Val. Um, Sevilla definitely had the better uh, chances. It was then a counter-attack. I think it was plus seven or plus eight in stoppage time. And then exactly at, at that minute, Valencia launched a counter where uh, then uh, Papu Gomez is um, uh, stopping the Valencia player from uh, seems to be from scoring, but he gets up and passes over. And then uh, um, someone else is pushed. Uh, the shot doesn't go into goal. And Papo Gomez is sent off. However, then the VAR gets involved and it was a free kick then outside of the box. Then the VAR gets involved um, and he says, well, Papo Gomez, yes, he did a foul, but the player played on. You know that concept that was not applied in the Champions League for Milan. I'm still bitter about that. However, the uh, Salas who pushed the Valencia players, he should be sent off. And that's exactly what happened. And then there was a penalty. And to top it all off, that penalty is being saved by Bono. Uh, absolute madness at the end. It was kind of one of those where you just could not watch, your, uh, take your eyes off that game in that point. Uh, uh, same day, um, we had a 2-2 between Getafe and Athletic Club. Uh, Getafe's four goals game is also doesn't sound, sound right. Atletico. Taking the lead through Morata, however, uh, Falcao with a penalty equalizes. And again, uh, whenever they have to take the initiative, Atleti do not look good. They're not a fun team to watch. And that's where I think maybe some... I think if you take uh, Simeone away from Atletico, this will have a huge impact. And I think they might actually fall down because they are successful. I think that's why they keep him in place. But they're not a fun team to watch. Real Sociedad, another win, 1-0 over Mallorca, Mary Miguel Merino this time around. Um, but before they with a 4-1 win from Raya, uh, uh, from Valladolid, Raya, Valladolid over Celta, Celta having a really, really, really bad week uh, there. The Elche Real Madrid game was notable that Real Madrid had three goals disallowed, two by the new Golden Boot winner Karim uh, Benzema, all of them offside, all of them already, I think in every single one he was offside. The one that I, I regret most is that David Alaba and Kwan Benzema made a wonderful uh, goal where they played one twos and then Alaba finishes. It would have been a really, really great goal. Did not count because of an offside. Uh, Valverde by that time had, had already put um, Madrid in front. The way he stopped the ball really nicely and then pulled pull in the net. He is really on a different level at the, at the moment. Then Benzema in the seventh, he gets his second goal. And what does he do for celebration? To kind of say, yeah, finally I may have scored, and there was no denying there. And then Rodrigo, the sister Saints, and Rodrigo, he's not in the starting lineup a whole often, uh, more of a sub substitute, but he also has a many goal contributions. I have to say, this Real Madrid squad 
might be again overlooked, but do not overlook this Real Madrid squad. They are really, really good. They are really, really good at the, uh, at the moment. On, on there are usually teams that have won the Champions League are really good in the um, uh, autumn season and then in spring it sometimes falls, falls but so we have to see and have to wait how it, how it goes but in Spain I don't see any uh, equal to Real Madrid at this very very, very moment um, I want to finish with Barcelona making a bounce back and for once Xavi listens to the fan base you know out of the Adeolga he plays with Frankie de Jong he plays with Ansu Fati he plays with Xavi he plays with Gavi I think if you have those four players in, I think there's a really, really good core there on which you can build a team and you need to give them time. It also helps that Robert Lewandowski, uh, he is a brilliant footballer and he will score goals for you. So in that sense, this was maybe not such a bad signing. I just think that he needs uh, support. But for me, the biggest story whenever Barcelona plays against Villarreal, I said it already in the intro, is what are Villarreal doing? I know they want to play open and they want to play, but if you play with Barcelona, uh, you know, you better be better than Barcelona. This is the one thing I never get. Villarreal, they're always this team that you think they might um, challenge for top four. You know, they were in the Champions League, semi-final, something that Barcelona is dreaming of. But as soon as they go to the Camp Camp now, they completely fall and completely ro roll over. And it was just a short, 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 short minute. It was an 80-minute uh, 80, 80 period where Lewandowski scores two and Ansu Fati adds another one. And at that point, there was no point in watching the game anymore. Um, also notable that Busquets and Gerard Pique got whistled from the fans because they also know it's not their time anymore. Yes, you did great things for, for the club, but it's not your time in, 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 in anymore. So, yeah, I really think that it is necessary for... I think Xavi is realizing that. I actually think it's necessary for the club to finally realize it's time for a major rebuild, get some good, uh, experienced uh, players in place, like a Lewandowski. I think that is maybe the signing I have the least problem of all, except that, you know, you don't have money. But, you know, uh, rely on your young players and actually realize that with Frankie the Young you have something... It might also be work to, you know, try this Frank Cassier. He is actually good. I know this from experience. You need to give him time, but he can develop in something completely different. But yeah, at least a little bit of a turnaround. We will see on the weekend they have a next challenge coming up. Probably one they will master again. Because, you know, Barcelona is on a different level than most of the remainder of the league. And it's shown show on the table. I mean, I think it's a pretty accurate picture of Real Madrid, Barcelona... Than the rest. I think it has there, there, there's a clear, clear order there. Real Sociedad now have uh, overtaken uh, Atletico and Betis uh, Athletic Club also in the end. Also, soon is really, really high. I want to see. I actually think that um, Union Emery might be a little bit under, under pressure at Villarreal or, or, or already because remember at the beginning of the season we all said they might actually sneak into this fourth spot and it doesn't look all that well. Valencia. Uh, um, Valencia I want to see but I want to say Sevilla I'm not sure where they're going can they make it into European spots it's not that far off but it's still you know uh, 16 or Sasuna at 6 points probably at least they, they got now uh, out of the relegation zone maybe they're, it, it, it's a slow build but I think Champions League is not a conversation for them uh, actually we want, also I'm curious how uh, long they associate that can keep it up because they are really really positive uh, performance and you see it on the performance graphs they are right up there with uh, Real Madrid in outperforming their own expectations as for going down uh, we have to look at the Girona, Cadiz and, and so on Mallorca definitely Alvin Almeria is also a team that you know may go in there let's see where it will be maybe better in the ex ex expect sending yeah Girona, Cadiz, Elche, Almeria, Mallorca, um, maybe Valladolid. I think Espanol is probably just about safe. But, you know, early early days up top. It is the Classic 3. I want to hold my horses for Atletico Madrid. And at the moment, Sevilla would be outside of the European spots, which is also remarkable with Rasodat and Betis really being now the ones that are, um, that are set up in a good finish. Something that they have done recently, but one of them might go into the Champions League and it would actually, actually be fun to see this.
Uh, the upcoming rounds, I give you the next two weeks. And before that, I just want to mention that on the day this posts, we have uh, Porto and Benfica playing uh, this evening a match that's probably really worth watching. And I might, like Classico style, I might do uh, a separate video on that if I get to watch it. Uh, it's not quite sure yet. But we have really interesting games in La Liga. We have, of course, Real Madrid against Sevilla. This used to be a good, good game. I want to see what, well, what they can do. And then we have also the other Sevilla uh, duel with Betis against At uh, Atletico. Um, if Atletico is to be supplanted from a third uh, position, I think this is a game that Betis needs to win. And then we have, of course, another classic between Barcelona and Athletic Club. I thought, so it's a really, really interesting uh, weekend. And also the weekend after, we have... Um, Valencia against Barra Barcelona. I mean, that, that's a huge rival rivalry there. I also think Athletic Club against Villarreal and the Real Sociedad against Betis. Those are also really, really interesting and good games to look forward to. So yeah, I'm slowly getting into La Liga. I have to say of all the, just when I look jersey-wise, I think my La Liga background is the one that I'm actually happiest with overall because of the um, many shades and colors and interesting shirts. Uh, but I'm also getting this season. I'm I'm starting to feel La Liga. There is something there. Uh, I'm especially looking at the Betis and the Real Sociedad uh, because it's fun to see them play. In any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my uh, channel if you want to see more videos like this. Drop a line below if you want to add anything uh, to what I've said. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day. Bye!